Lady and gentlemen, officially official, at least I think so, 2023 will mark the final model year of this, the fifth generation Toyota 4Runner, which was launched in 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Is that right? 15 model years ago, 2009. 2023 also happens to be the 40th anniversary of the 4Runner as we know it. And uh, to mark the occasion, Toyota did introduce a very, very cool 40th anniversary version. And it was supposed to be on the press fleet, but you know what? When they offer you this, you don't say no, even if it's not the 40th anniversary version. Now I've driven, I think every, since 2000, maybe even 1999, I've driven a 4Runner every year. And, and quite frankly, there is, there has never been one that I did not like. I mean, I recall maybe two or three years ago saying comically that, you know, it was kind of ridiculous that this was still available for sale. But hey, here we are in 2023 with another edition of the fifth generation Toyota 4Runner. And it, it's, it's come to the point where it really doesn't matter anymore. Because especially as spec, this is still the poster boy, at least in North America, kind, well, Canada, let's put it that way, for Toyota's endearing, everlasting, uh, I don't know, we just love these trucks. We just can't get enough. And you probably know already, the reason why I said that 2023 is officially official, I think the final model year for this fifth generation Toyota 4Runner is because earlier in 2023, Toyota finally revealed the all new Tacoma. If, if things happen the way they're normally supposed to happen over at Toyota, that means that a new 4Runner is inevitable. It is inevitable, but it's going to happen sooner than later. And I'm, although I'm extremely excited about the new Tacoma and officially official, I think, new 4Runner, there's just so, there's something about, I mean, I think I referred to this like a, a lovable old oaf, the Forerunner. I'm going to miss it because its end will mark the end of a number of things, such as, you know, volumetric inefficiency <laughs> and a five-speed automatic transmission and horrible fuel efficiency and, and, Uber truck like, though that might come back, Uber truck like driving characteristics. Um, but look, it's, uh, th there's no point in me telling you that you should or shouldn't buy a 4Runner. If you want a 4Runner, you're probably not even looking at a Wrangler. You probably do still have dreams of the FJ Cruiser. Now, if everything works out, Toyota being a little bit nuts over the last couple of years, five, six maybe, uh, it could come back. And as far as I'm concerned, if the new 4Runner has a 2.4 turbocharged four-cylinder engine, a standard with an iForce Max hybrid with 465 pound-feet of torque in a 4Runner. They could just create a different body, put it on the same frame, and call it an FJ Cruiser, and they'll sell billions. Well, okay, they'll sell a ton of them. But this review, which won't be exactly like all the others, though, even if I try to be different, it never really happens. I'm only, because it's a TRD Pro, I'm only going to point out what's very specific to the TRD Pro. Now, as I got to my usual spot, I was trying to think, where am I going to work on the suspension articulation just to show you what's going on behind these gorgeous 17-inch wheels? And I might fail, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, so yeah, following video, quick walk around of a vehicle we've been seeing on the road for at least 15 years now with relatively few changes. You know, maybe this and there and over there and there and here. Um, and then we'll take it for a brief drive. I'm not gonna take this off-roading. In the past, I've done a fair amount of off-roading with this, and clearly, if it's a TRD Pro, there's about nothing it can't handle. I mean, to a certain extent, this is the Rubicon of Toyota, right? We understand each other, we get it. Okay, so uh, please hang in there, let's go. 
All right, so I know that what you just saw isn't much of a challenge. I did try to uh, ride up on those blocks over there, but they moved as I drove against them. So that's why it's, that's why the TRD Pro is precariously perched on this chunk of uh, cement right now. Um, let's take a quick uh, walk around in the US. Pricing starts at 40,155 for the base 4Runner, 54,620 for the TRD Pro. Canada base price 51,890 for the base. In fact, it's just a bunch of trims for the Forerunner. It's always been like that. Uh, so 51,890. Uh, if you want the TRD Pro, you got to spend an extra fifteen thousand four hundred twenty-five dollars worth every penny, if you ask me. Penny, yes, penny. Hmm. Sixty-seven thousand three hundred fifteen dollars is the final tally. Actually, not entirely because this uh, sunburst uh, solid sort of solar octane orange color is an extra 255 bucks. So uh, let's just round it out to 67.6 for what you see here worth absolutely every penny. Now, like I said, we're just going to focus on the TRD proness of this model. So obviously, you get that, which is real. Um, and then you get Fox shocks all around. Aren't they pretty? with TRD springs, which is wonderful. You also get these beautiful 17 inch wheels with these uh, Neato Terra Grabber, Grappler, Grappler tires, I can't read. Uh, these um, superb uh, rock bars or um, yes, rock rails, sorry. Uh, speaking of rails, uh, the basket roof rack, which is just spectacular. A bunch of uh, black decals, a unique front grille. Um, as far as stunners are concerned, for a vehicle that is this old, uh, it doesn't get much, much better than this. Um, final lap, or is it even worth it? I guess not. What I can say, this is a specific grill layout. The, um, the 40th anniversary actually has a uh, heritage style grill, which I should have checked, but I didn't. Uh, I wonder if it's available as like a retrofit. Also, hood scoop. Yes, hood scoop. Very important hood scoop, I think. Um, now, just, just a comment, um, before, if Toyota should, I won't show you the trunk, but if Toyota does, no, that's not a camera trick, uh, when they do revamp the 4Runner, the uh, power rear window has to remain available. It also opens up to a massive amount of trunk space, and it's just absolutely wunderbar. Uh, there's room in the back, as always. In fact, it's extremely roomy, I have to say. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a step up for me, but I can do this. I'm a man. Okay, so what you have... <laughs> Way to go, numbnuts. Um, oops. I started up, big mighty V6. Also included with this are uh, the um, crawl control and multi-terrain select. So you have to select it. And then uh, the menus will appear down here. A little bit difficult, actually. I'll close the door. Uh, there's your 4x4 shift, which is uh, standard, obviously, in Canada, your 8-inch touchscreen display. Um, in fact, there isn't much else unique about the TRD Pro, at least not physically or equipment-wise, other than mechanical bits, one in particular being the rear locking uh, uh, differential. There you go. So I have to select four-wheel drive. Let's just do that now. And I don't know if it'll work immediately, but then you have to switch on the control. It lights up. I can't see there. Ah, it was on. Come on. It's tough to work through the screen. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So you have like uh, mud, sand, loose terrain, mogul, if you're going, you know, like snowboarding, and uh, rock crawling and all of that. And then here you have your crawl control, so it varies the speed at which you will crawl over and above all terrains and surfaces. Um, I think for 2023, heated steering wheel is standard, and that's a new thing too, <laughs> other than the 40th anniversary and a few other things. Um, but look, the interior is um, ancient. I love this quartz blue clock here, but it's still so functional. It's comfortable. It's nice. It's robust, just like the truck and the driving experience. So let's go do that now. A few things. So many things, in fact, that I love about the Foreigner. One being when you start it up, the fans go on, and it just seems like, I don't know, the past is still present. I absolutely, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic. Um, where to begin? Um, yeah, I, driving the Foreigner, any any version, really, not necessarily just the TRD Pro, but any version, 
is, is I think more of a mindset than anything else. It's kind of like driving around in my 73 412 square back Volkswagen, air-cooled station wagon, rear engine, you know, you know the car. Um, you don't rush things, you let them come to you, you conquer them, you take them over one after the other. It's gonna be a lot of wind, I think, eh? Auto up, down, all windows, even the rear one, which is pretty cool. There he goes, and see, no fingers. Uh, you, you don't want to rush it. I mean, the big four liter V6 is from a different time when we weren't in such a rush to get around and get to our next job, adventure, or whatnot. And it, it loves to hum. I mean, it, it's still same old 276 horsepower, uh, sorry, 270 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 278 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. Um, you don't want to rev it much past 3,000 RPM as much as you can. And even on the highway, 110 kilometers an hour, give or take, the engine is at a steady uh, 2,000, 2,100 RPM. And what's, and what's most kind of throwback thing for me is that it only has five gears, which means that unlike a transmission with six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 gears, it holds a gear for so long. I mean, I'm blessed given the job that I have. I'm used to like, uh, 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 immediate shifts. This, once it gets into third gear, it like settles. It's like, well, you wanna do 25 kilometers an hour? I'm staying in third. You wanna do 90? I'm staying in third. <laughs> it's It's, it's just fantastic. This is what I mean about the, the, the funny things that I'm going to miss when this truck is gone. Uh, I mean, yes, it likes to be, I don't want to say pampered because you can't abuse it. I mean, it's still a, a rough and tumble V6. Uh, but when you do, you know, keep your foot in, uh, power is good. The exhaust note for the TRD is, is very omnipresent, but that's part of the package, part of the experience, and it's just superb. Now, also part of the TRD experience, and I think, which is the main reason, because nobody off-roads these things every single day, but the main reason why you would get a TRD is for the Fox shocks and the TRD springs. Because compared to the kinetic dynamic suspension and the x ray uh, suspension, sport suspension, um, those are quasi semi-compromised, not entirely smooth, trying to give you a little bit more handling at the expense of you know comfort and, and depending on the trim, you can get 20-inch wheels too. No, 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 no. No, you don't want any of that. You want these Fox dampers, which give you so much wheel travel. And these 17-inch tires, which give you so much sidewall. And, and it, it all blends in together. This lazy 4-liter V6, this, well, semi-lazy 5-speed automatic transmission, which is, which is, it has never skipped a beat, ever, ever in its existence, I think. Um, just all of that combined with the smooth drive, it, it's just so great. And, and no matter the season, the driving conditions, pavement or no pavement, rocks, sand, whatever, you know, nit, 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 done, and off you go. Relaxed, chilling, knowing that your forerunner will outlast you probably, if rust proofs, of course. Um, and it, see, I'm driving, like a gringo or something. I don't, I don't even know what a gringo is. But yeah, it's, it's just so relaxed. I love it. It's a mindset. It is a wonderful truck. I said goodbye, I think in 21, and I said the goodbye again in 22. And I, I think, I think I'm saying goodbye to this foreigner for the last time now in 2023. But uh, as they say, uh, the king is dead, long live the king. The next forerunner is going to be spectacular. There is no doubt in my mind. That is all.